YouTube and welcome to lesson four of the Autodesk Maya tutorial series. So today we're going to look at basic animation and keyframing. All right. So uh, most of you have been waiting for animation, I presume. So in order to create animation, it is quite easy in uh, Maya. So what you have to do is you have to grab any object right here. OK, so th this is my object. So let me move this at to the top. Just like this. All right. So let me just move to the uh, top in the, from the front. I'm going to move this on the space right there. All right. So over here in the perspective, okay, I've been uh, looking at the perspective uh, from the opposite side. All right. So let's say what I want to do is I want to create two seconds of animation right here. So two seconds is uh, 24 multiplied by two because one second of animation is equal to one frame. So uh, two seconds would be around 24 into two <coughs> equals 48. So I'm going to tap in 48 right here. This is going to be the total amount of animation right here. And this is my timeline for it. So I want the animation to start from frame one. So this is my resting state. So what I want to do is press S on my keyboard for set keyframe. So press S on my keyboard so you can see that a red dot appears here. So I want the animation to end right here on the 48th frame. So I'm going to drag this out to the end and press S again. And you can see the animation actually ends right there as well. So let's say now if I were to press play, you can see that the animation actually happens, but it is actually happening quite fast. So right now, if I want to slow down the animation, I can go over here onto this icon right here, which is the animation setting, the preferences. So just click on onto that preferences right there. Once I press that, I want to go to the playback speed right here. And on the playback speed, you see that there is play every frame. So I want to actually play it real time. So if I were to press save and if I were to press play now, you can see that the animation actually happens just like that. All right. So uh, I have my keyframe at the first and the second. Let's say on the 10th frame, I want the uh, shape to be here. So let's just press S. On the 20th frame, frame, I want the shape to be here. All right. And then slowly it moves back onto the 48th frame. So now you can see that animation is actually onto the keyframe that I actually chose. So I want to remove the keyframe right now. Let's just clear, click the keyframe and delete it out. All right. And I'm going to delete this keyframe out as well and this keyframe out as well. So this is my starting position. Let's say I on the 10th position. I want this to move here, maybe scale a bit and move it to the side. Press S on the uh, 25 frame and move the cube over here. Scale this down. Press S. Go to the side. Scale this up. Go to this section and rotate out a bit. Press S and here again. Go to this side and press S. So now whatever changes you make to the shape actually adds in the keyframe to this. So I actually change the scale, the rotate and my scale tool as well. So you can see the animation actually happens for all of them now. So you can see that all of them actually changes now, just like that, as you can see. So let's say I want to remove the animation. So let's go to channel box editor. You can see that all of these are red. So what I can do is I can select all of these and I can actually go, okay, where's my delete keyframes? Uh, and then I can go for key selected, key all. Okay, there you go. Delete selected. And once I press delete selected, you can see that all of the keyframes are actually removed just like that. So I want to go back to default. So let's just press uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 1. What I can also do is add in keyframe individually onto this. So what I can actually do is, let's say I just want to add in keyframe translate. I can right, right click and press key selected, just like that. So if I were to press key selected, it only adds the keyframe to that translate right here. So if I were to drag this uh, to the right side, just like this and add in key over here, none of are the uh, none of the other attributes are actually keyed on. So let's say on this section, I want the visibility to be on. So let's key selected. All right, just like that. Uh, I want to uh, turn it off. So press OFF and press enter. So off. So let's key select it just like this. Uh, on this section, I want it to turn on. So on and key selected just like this. So this is on and off. I want this shape to appear over here again. 
So key selected right here. So till this section it is off and from frame 28, it is going to be on again, press on and key selected just like this. Okay, and as you can see, the animation actually happens like this now. So it disappears and appears. So you can see how I can add in keyframes to individual attributes just like that as well. So if I were to go to the beginning, let me delete all of these again. So let's delete uh, all of these. So let's delete selected. What I can also do is I can, <clears throat> sorry, uh, I can add in keys to edges and faces as well. So if I were to press face, uh, let's just press, press S, drag the face here and up, press S uh, here, drag down, press S. So I have my keyframe on the face. I can also add in keyframe to the edge. So press S, uh, drag this out, press S, and move this down a bit, rotate this out a bit, press S, and drag this out over here, press S. So you can see that these have uh, type of animations as possible as well. So if I were to go to vertices again, I can do the same. Press S, uh, move the vertices, press S, uh, select the vertices, press S, and you can see that everything is moved around, just like that. So you can add in keyframe to all of the individual attributes, all of the individual faces, and even the individual vertices, just like that. So it is quite easy, as you can see. And if I were to press smooth on, so if I were to press smooth, just like this, press three, and you can see that there's a wobbly type of animation just there. So this is actually how you add in animations and you can see that animations are quite easy in Maya and you can add it, you know, make simple animations by using um, animation keyframes. So if you want to make multiple animations, so just know that uh, the animation keyframes are actually based on individual objects and uh, so it's not as a group. So if I want to add an animation like this, so let's say, for example, I want to create a doorway and so forth where a ball is rolling in. I can also do this. So press Shift D. I want to duplicate this out. So I want to have two seconds of animation just like this. Let's grab the ball. So let's say the ball starts moving in and this actually starts going out. So let's press S, go to the side, push the ball. All right. So let's, do, let's press play. So that's how the animation actually goes right now. Now. So as the ball moves in, I say I want the animation to start here. So I don't want this, this to actually start lifting up right there. So I want the animation, uh, uh, this part to start lifting up right here. All right, so let's say I want the uh, animation to start on frame four and over here in this section before the ball goes in on the frame eight. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. There's a difference of five frames right here. Lift this up, press S. So you can see that actually it makes way for the ball right there. So again, in this section, I want to do the same. So before the ball goes in, so it's touching the edge. So let's just go over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I want this to remain consistent, just like that, press, um, sorry, press S. And before the ball goes in, right here in this section, I want to press S, all right. So on this section right here again, okay, I want the uh, one, two, three, four, five, press S. Uh, and then before the ball goes in, I want this to move up, okay? So I, I, I have to do this individually to each of the shape. All right, so go in this section. So it's 21, one, two, three, four, five. So if I were to calculate, I get a similar speed, which is always nice. So you can also do this without calculating. And then here in this space, all right, so let's start over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's grab this up, press S, add this to the right. Okay, so I shouldn't have done that. Again, control Z. This is gonna be at the bottom. In this start, go to the side. And at this section, it's gonna be at the top. It's like that, all right? And this section, all right? So select the shape, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, press S, one, two, three, four, five. And grab this to the top, press S. Okay, and then grab this one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, press S, one, two, three, four, five, and grab this to the top from this one. 
All right, grab this to the top. And there you go, that's how the animation actually happens. So let's see how the animation actually runs over there. So let's just press play. And there you go, that's how the animation actually happens. Uh, and it, it is interesting, as you can see, just like that. So if you have multiple animations in the scene, it actually makes the animation seem more interesting, as you can see that. So this is the rule of secondary animation. So if you have multiple animation in the scene, it actually seems interesting. So this is how you create basic animations in Maya. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the lesson as always. And as, and, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.